Hello and welcome to Malaysia for the PRL Season 5 Race 2. And uh, here we are looking at the qualifying results. Jacko takes pole with a 138.112. I'm about a tenth and a half off. Didn't quite get the lap I wanted, but I can't really be upset with a uh, solid second uh, place in the qualifying session. Cartoon in sixth place. My uh, teammate. He's got a bit of work to do if he wants to repeat his second place that he got last race. See, Jacko's now celebrating away. Good drive by him. It was a uh, wet session. We're all in into tyres, so it was quite tricky to get the uh, timing right as the uh, track got wetter towards the end of the session. Yep. So here we go, Jacko. Front, front row. With me, but alongside him. And hopefully, we can jump him at the start. <laughs> if we're lucky. Alright, first light, second light, third light, fourth light, fifth light. They're off, and away we go. Not such a good start there, Jacko pulls away off the line. Great start for him. Dubs is having a look at me, but can't quite get alongside as I start spamming the curves to make up for the mistake I made at the right at the start. Big Dog makes a dive, but Dubs, he gets down there, and Big Dog takes over. Jacko goes wide, I get in the inside. He appears in front of me, so I haven't actually taken that position yet. And uh, top four seemed to get through pretty cleanly looking at the map, but the rest behind seemed like a massive mess there. Someone's off into the wall, it looks like. As we go into the, uh, the end of the first sector and start of the second, and took a very late break there to come down the inside. Jack is doing pretty well holding his uh, line out front. Has a little bit of a moment there. Nearly lost it, and I got a bit of time on him there. Nearly hit him. As you can see, the car's lagging just a little bit. It's put me off uh, just, a, just a tiny amount as I'm following him through. Cautious under braking here. Didn't want to go anywhere near him or hit him or anything like that. But he's gone a little bit deep and uh, I've grabbed a bit of an exit, but the car's still sliding over that rise there. Very slippery through that part as we glide through that corner. Very tricky to get right. It's pretty blind as we come through this final sector sweepers. Got close to the apex and Jacko here, and I got a bit of run out using all the curves. And uh, playing a slipstream, got a bit of a run, moved over to the inside, coming on the grass there. Trying to move back over to the right to get a better turn in, but Jacko's defending pretty well then. I've got to keep it real tight through the uh, middle part and the exit too. <laughs> I probably use a little bit too much there, but Jacko seems to have enough room and he starts pulling away again. Better traction on the outside, that makes sense. So now, hopefully, try and get down the inside here. Under braking, he goes wide, yes. The over and under seems to work, but there's a bit of contact there. Car slipped out. Wasn't sure if that was going to be a lag car like last time, because it seemed to do pretty much exactly the same thing as the first lap. But here we go, lap 10, it's a fair way away from where we are now. Jacko's pitted on lap 7, so it's about four, sec uh, 4 laps about ahead of me, or 4 or 3. He pulls away now in the lead and I put him in slowly in second place. Probably stayed out one lap too late on those primes. Really suffering a bit of understeer. Jacko goes wide as his tyres go off on lap 16. We're about midway point now. Well, at least over the midway point at this point. And the rain's starting to fall and it's starting to uh, think about when when we need to put those intermediates on. A couple of lap cars. It's, uh, 10th and 9th who were running last and second last at this point. Raylene lets me through there, thanks for that. Pretty clean. Start moving up on uh, I think that's Cena's army, yep. It is. Get the car turned in. Play. Fair amount of traction there for what the uh, conditions are presenting me. You can see on those, that indicator there, my left front is just absolutely shot. But I've got enough rear grip and that's what you need when you're right condition. At this point here, I knew this is when you needed to pit. The car was just sliding around. The spray started coming off the tyres. It's when you know that you need the wet tyres. Kind of slide through there. I managed to get through. A lot cleaner than the first time I pitted as we come in here for the intermediates. Yeah, pretty decent start. Uh, stop there. 3.2 seconds. Not fantastic, but it'll do. Fair way ahead of Jacko because of his uh, tire dilemma. He had to pit early for inters and probably caught it a bit too late. So, uh, a bit too early, sorry. So a bit of a gap there. At this point, 
It's two laps to go and the tyres are completely shot. Murph lets me through, but he's still behind me. His tyres seem to be a bit better off than mine at this point. Car's just sliding through there, and we come through the same corner again a lap later on the final lap. It's just no grip. Absolutely horrible to drive in this. But a little bit of fun. As we come around the last corner for the uh, last lap, the car's just drifting. I'm not even trying to do that. It's just sliding through. Tires are completely shut, as it's in the indicator. However, I cross the line and take my second win out of two races there. As we watch Dubsy now. In fifth place. Finish the race, although he's slowing down and it, yeah, he's going to do a few burnouts for us. <laughs> Hasn't been his greatest race, I don't think it, uh, fifth place is exactly what he wanted, but I'm sure he'll take it. Uh, I'm pretty sure he'll take off his front wing, <laughs> with that sort of thing. And he does. <laughs> that's pretty funny, Dobsy. Good work, bud. <laughs> So yep, that's my uh, second win of the season at the second race of the PRL Championship. Good run so far. Didn't quite get the fastest lap though. Cut did. We'll uh, take that one with a 136.947. Quite a good lap from him there, I think. Uh, AXN, another uh, honourable mention there. Did a qu quite a good job compared to uh, Melbourne. Uh, moving up the uh, leaderboard from, I think, 11th place even. All the way up to second place, so well done to him. So that marks the end of a, another fantastic round of racing. This is Chastity 42 for Chastity Racing TV. Goodbye, and I'll see you next week.